I'm gonna give a technical demonstration of my Alien Screamer build. It's a Music from Outer Space Alien Screamer designed by Ray Wilson of MFOS. Uh, this little noisemaker synthesizer has uh, two, pretty much two components. The LFO is the source of modulation for the VCO. It's a low frequency oscillator. It puts out a square wave, integrated square wave, and differentiated square wave that modulate the VCO, the uh, source of sound in the synthesizer. Volt control oscillator oscillates from uh, off to above hearing range and the output of that goes into an audio amplifier that is hooked up to a speaker in the back and also line out here. I also added two uh, modifications down here, two CVs, an LFO trigger out and VCO frequency CV in and added a DC power in. That's it. Alright, I got the synthesizer hooked up to a oscilloscope Channel 1 is hooked up to the output of the synthesizer, 60 the output signal wave shapes. And channel 1 is hooked up to the output of the LFO before going through the modulation pot. So you'll see the full wave shape every time. So first up, let's check out the VCO. So let's turn on channel 2. And right now the volume is set to halfway and the VCO frequency is set all the way to its lowest, which is off. So we don't see anything. Let's slowly turn up the VCO. And you'll start to see a very slowly oscillating wave. So that's a low frequency output of the VCO. Let's turn up the volume so you can hear it. You can see the uh, wave amplitude getting bigger. It's at about max volume. We lower the frequency. And then raise the frequency. And that's above audible range. And that's the VCO. It's the oscillating voltage that drives the speaker. So now I'm going to demonstrate the LFO and how it modulates the VCO. Let's go to the scope. The LFO is hooked up to channel 1 and right now it's set to put out a square wave and it's set at the lowest frequency. So you can see that light, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, about that kind of frequency. Turn on channel 1. And there you can see the square wave. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And just an oscillating square wave. So let me just quickly toggle through the different wave shapes. You can see the output. And then we'll uh, modulate the VCO. So th that's the square wave. Uh, I'm going to show you the differentiated square wave. And now the integrated square wave. All right, so let's go back to square wave and let's modulate the uh, VCO. Actually, before that, let me show you the frequency. So I'm going to turn up slowly the frequency of the LFO. So the light is blinking faster now. And that's the LFO. So it puts out a wave shape, oscillating voltage. That's going to modulate the frequency of the VCO. So instead of me turning this by hand, it's going to do that for me. 
for this frequency. All right, so let's do that. So I'm gonna slowly turn up the uh, modulation output of the LFO, and you should see a change in channel two, which is the output of the synth. Which right now the VCO frequency is set to lowest, nothing. The LFO is gonna start to modulate that up and down. So this particular synth, low voltage is higher frequency, higher voltage is lower frequency. So I'm going to turn up the frequency. So again, turn up the frequency, lights blinking faster, faster square waves. Let's turn up the modulation output, which again is going to make this wave shape either higher or smaller, which means higher voltage or lower voltage, which means higher frequency or lower frequency. So now, right now, the VCL is still set to the lowest, lowest baseline. So we turn up the VCO. It's going to cause the LFO to modulate the VCO around its set frequency up here. It's a little harder to see here. See low voltage, high frequency, high voltage, low frequency. Alright, let's try some other wave shapes. Sound a little more interesting. Let's try the differentiated square wave. Right now I'm turning the frequency on the VCO knob. VCO is set all the way down. Let's change the frequency of the alpha. Nanomodulation. And let's turn up the frequency. That's the DCL. All right, let's go to the integrated wave.
so last but not least we have a sync switch sync switch enables syncing between the LFO and the VCO so to say and that the LFO will reset the VCO wave whenever its voltage changes from high to low or low to high I forget which one uh, either way let's check it out alright so let's put out uh, some audio in the VCO and LFO modulate square wave and then to hear the sync effect you have to turn up the frequency pretty high let's turn on the sync You can see the, uh, the VCO being reset with those spikes. Sink off. And then sink on. That's it.